in today's video we are going to be talking about how to win friends and influence people both of which are arts literally these are arts i sucked at making friends and influencing people oh my god chodi do but then i read this book called how to win friends and influence people by dean carnegie and oh my god it was life changing <laughs> it's it's just so influential and in today's video i'm going to tell you about the main takeaways from this book that have helped me but this book is very very you know substantial and if you want you can obviously grab this book for free as an audiobook on storytel.com by using my code storytel.com/heli the link is in the description below this will give you a 30 day free trial after which it is just 2.99 per month and please make use of the offer while it lasts also guys while i was reading this audiobook i was constantly feeling that oh my god if i had read this book in my school life i'll probably have had some better friends but anyway the thing is when you grow up more than making friends you need to influence people because in your job life that's the way to get better sales that's the way to get better clients that's the way to bet get a better job that's the way to get paid more so you need to be influencing people it will help you in so many ways maybe you don't want to do a certain thing maybe you want to do a th- certain thing and there's a authority there's a person you need to convince for that influencing people always helps especially if you want to influence your parents to get you a pet but without any further ado let's get into this video and tell you about the main things about this book now the first thing that i felt very very helpful in this book is that kanji says that don't criticize people people don't like people who criticize them and sometimes we criticize people and even though we are feeling like we are being honest we are actually being assholes most of the time but he also asks you to share the honest opinion but never in a bad way in an honest appreciative way and yeah that is an art you need to learn how to do that maybe somebody is wearing something not appropriate for a certain place you can't go up to them and say that they are wearing something trash you must say hey you look great in this but i think that would have suited you better or just honestly try to convince them in a very nice way speak very politely not for just this in many other cases there have been so many times that someone has given me what they have written and asked me to criticize it honestly most of the times i thought that they were shit but i'm not going to say that on their face because that's not how you treat people and that's really really not people want to be treated while there are some people who like to be getting very honest reviews most of them will be more happy if we just tone down our you know opinions and if you want to make friends and influence people you need to be able to do that this concept is a little bit controversial because it sort of prevents you from being yourself but in the long run it proves to be very beneficial especially in professional life number 2 is to be genuinely interested number 2 is to be genuinely interested in the other person you can't make friends and influence them if you're not even interested in who they are you're not even interested in their interests when you are showing genuine interests in them it will make them like you more number 3 is smile more and this is just a simple thing which we often forget to do now let me know in the comment section below which heli looks better this or this obviously the second one right because a smile is a natural ornament you can't be uh, wearing a very grim face all the time and expect people to like you because the first impression that we get of grim looking faces is that maybe they are angry maybe they are not that likable whereas if a person is smiling and jolly we tend to be more connected towards them right most of the times that is the case and although there are exceptions i feel like if you are wearing a smile all the time you need not wear any makeup smiles make people look so gorgeous and beautiful and handsome all the time number 4 is a life changing tip use the name of the person you are talking to there's no nothing in this world that uh, you know people will love more than their own name so if you're trying to convince someone or trying to build a deeper relationship with someone use their name again and again in the conversation i usually tend to get more influenced when somebody is using my name while speaking to me while asking for a request and make sure you're using their name correctly because people hate it when people pronounce their name wrong my real name is saheli and there have been so many times people have called me shelly shally shally what the heck man 
my name is Saheli. You can call me Shaheli if you're Bengali, obviously. But at least don't deviate from that. And I'm pretty sure if somebody pronounces your name incorrectly, you feel angry as well. Number five is to be a good listener. People love a good listener. Everybody loves talking about themselves. And this is an art, you know, to be a good listener. I recently read an audio book on Storytel itself where there was this girl and she used to get like $20 per day for working at a cafeteria. And slowly she started making $75 a day. And her father asked, is selling coffee the only thing you do? And she's like, yes, but I have got a hack. I ask people. I know that people love talking about themselves. So this girl remembers everything about her clients and when they come, she talks with them and lets them tell about themselves. And since they have a good conversation, the people tip her more, which is why she started making more money. The more you connect with people, the more you show people that you understand you and you're listening, the more they are going to love you and be friends with you and they'll be influenced by you very easily. Now, the next few tips are more about influencing than making friends. And the first will probably be to talk in terms of their interest. If you are offering a service to a certain person, you may say, hey, I do this, I do that, I do some epic shit. But they won't give a shit if you don't talk in their terms. So basically, my job is to market people on social media. So if I say that I do social media marketing, I have YouTube subscribers, I have Instagram followers, they are not going to give a shit. Obviously, that helps to prove my authority, but it does not help when I'm talking to them for the first time. How I pitch to them is something like, hey, do you know that your brand can reach thousands of people only with the use of social media? Do you know that you can actually 10 times your sale using social media? And that is how you talk to people when you're doing business. I'm pretty sure there are people who know this way better than me. I'm just getting started, guys. But this is just the basics. You talk in terms of their interest. What are they going to get out of you? And that is when they start thinking, okay, maybe this person may work out for me. Maybe I need to hire them. And this is a tip I'm pretty sure is going to help you a lot in the future. Talk in terms of the interest of the other people when you want to influence them because that tends to be more helpful than talking only about me, me and me. Also make sure that you're making them feel important and very sincerely do that. When you appreciate what the other person does, they will feel understood, they will feel validated and they will automatically like you better. Who will they like better? The person who says that, oh my God, you're doing such a great job, but you can do these improvements. Or would they like a person better who says, oh, this is not working out. I think you should do that. They'll probably like the first person better because at least they validated them and appreciated them at what they are doing and they are showing them how to do it better. Okay, these are the tips that I have helped me the most in my business and I am pretty sure it will help you too. Another life changing tip is especially when you want to get a yes out of the person in front of you. Maybe you want to go to a trip to Goa with your friends. Uh, so you can ask her if she thinks that you are more responsible now compared to a few years ago and she'll probably say yes. Ask a few questions which end with the answer yes and then ask her for permission. I'm pretty sure the chances are higher in the second case. Although asking your mom for a Goa trip permission is not the best example that I could have given, but this works out the best in terms of business and you know, work and job life. When you have people working for you, people under you, encourage them all the time. Make them feel important about themselves. When you are criticizing them, if they are doing something wrong, make them feel like they have to live up to a certain expectation and that's why they must do better not because you want it but because they are capable of doing it okay always talk in a way that they feel important in a way that they feel like it's their responsibility to do something than it's your order because that is what makes people do better you know if I am doing a group project, I will not ask my group members, hey, you need to do this. Hey, you need to do that. No, I won't do that. I will rather tell them, oh my God, you drew it so well. I think you can do a better job at drawing the next picture, which is something else. And I, most of the times I see my friends doing a better job when I give them better encouragement than if I just tell them to do it. And I'm pretty sure you'll see that in your life as well. And lastly, when you're trying to influence someone to do something, to give you a job or anything else make them happy to be doing it don't just leave them after you have suggested something make sure that they are happy with it if they are not try to show them why they should be happy with it so maybe you're asking someone to give you twice your current salary so the thing you must do is that 
convince them that they should do it because you'll bring them better results maybe you are working maybe four hours now you'll be working six or seven hours maybe you were focusing your energy on one particular project and now since you're being paid more you'll be doing more projects and that will bring the company or the person more revenue show them why they should be happy with you similarly if it is in the case of giving work to someone show why they should be doing it and show them why it will make them happy maybe you're going to be paying them more maybe they're going to get better results maybe it will benefit them in some way or the other and this definitely varies from case to case and this whole concept of influencing people and making friends with them is very deep and it takes time to understand every person every person is unique every relationship is very unique but there are some tactics to make them better and obviously my favorite of all of them is smiling and using their name in the conversation because it's always a magic really hope that you liked whatever i had to say about this book and its takeaways the book is available on Storytel, as I told you guys, the link will be in the description below. If you want to get a paperback, the link to that will be in the description as well. So make sure you get it, read it if you want to know in depth. I assure you, this book is going to help you so much in your whole life. You are gonna have so much better professional and personal relationships if you have the basic concept of this book. But reading this book itself is definitely a good idea because there are so many things in this book that I have not been helped why but you may be because every person and their needs are different so make sure you're reading it i hope you liked today's video if you did make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up there's also a sort of companion book to this called how to win friends and influence people in the digital age which may be read by you but uh, i like this one better honestly let me know in the comments below which nonfiction book you want takeaways from next or which personal growth or productivity video you want me to make next because i love to know and i'll try to work on it until my next video bye bye